Here in this video, I'm going to show you on how to construct or to draw box plot. Okay, what is box plot? It is a graph that we can use to describe a quantitative variable. We call what is quantitative variable? Variable that are measured based on numerical scale. Okay, example here, we have data about each okay each of 10 tourists at central market Kuala Lumpur okay in order to construct box plot also known as box and wish curve plot we need the five summary measures which are minimum value maximum value first quartile second quartile or value median and third quartile so that is first step we need to have this five summary measures first in order to construct box plot. Okay, next, you need to have a scale like this that can fit to your data from smallest to largest data. So to ease you, you use graph paper because you need to plot this point according to its actual value. Okay, let's say here I have scale of 10, 10, 20, 30, 40. So why until 40? Because our maximum data or maximum value is 39. So this scale can fit our data from 7 until 39. Okay, now look at on how to draw the box. Okay, you draw a vertical line for Q1, Q2 and Q3. So if you look at here, Q1 is 11.5. So here is 10. So let's say my 11.5 is somewhere around here. Okay. So you use graph paper in order to get the accurate value. Okay. Then you draw a vertical line for Q2. So Q2 is 22.5. Okay, say here is my 22.5. Okay, last vertical line for Q3, which is 30. So here is Q3. Okay, once you draw the vertical lines for Q1, Q2 and Q3, draw another horizontal lines in order to get the box. So you draw horizontal line from Q1 up to Q3. Okay, now we get a complete box. Okay, how to get the wish curl on right hand side and left hand side? Okay, draw another horizontal line. Using minimum value. So minimum is 7. So let's say in the middle here is 5. My 7 is somewhere around here. Let's say. So draw another horizontal line from minimum to vertical line of Q1 in order to get the wish curl on left hand side. Okay, wish curl on right hand side. You draw another horizontal line. From a vertical line of Q3 here until maximum value. So maximum value is 39. So let's say 39 until here. Okay, now we get a complete box plot. Okay, you put a label. Here is minimum value. Minimum is 7. So this vertical line is to represent Q1 which is 11.5. Here is vertical line for Q2 which is 22.5. And last one, this vertical line is Q3 which is 30. And here is maximum value, 39. Okay. So that's how we draw a box plot. Okay, another information that we can get from box plot is about skewness. 
So when we interpret skewness, either skewed to the right or skewed to the left, or maybe it is approximately normally distributed. Okay, if you look at this box plot, we can see that it is skewed to the left. So we can see more data fall on left hand side. So skewness here. Skewness, how we conclude skewness. So based on this graph, it is skewed to the left. So what does it mean skewed to the left? So this data is about H. Okay, so if skewed to the left, we can say that there are more older jewelries as compared to as compared to the average age of jewelries. Okay, so means that. If you calculate mean for this data, the mean will be 21.7. Okay, 21.7 years old. So, there are more older tourists as compared to the average age of tourists. Average age of tourists. So, average here is 21.7. So, tourists with age older than 21.7 is more. So, if you look at data here, the same mean 21.7, so 21.7 somewhere around here. So we can see that more older tourists as compared to average age of tourists. So that is mean by skewed to the left. If skewed to the right, otherwise. Okay, that's all for how we construct and conclude about box plot.